All right. Um, Sunday afternoon, I've been working on the uh, Stoker engine, and I got the body done here. This year, I gotta make the. And I'm working on it, and um, I needed a piece of steel, five sixteenths by inch and something by this long, and uh, the thickness is what I'm concerned with right now. And I don't, uh, I think I have a piece somewhere around, but I got a chunk here, well, I think it's 5 8 thick. So it's twice as thick as I need, but I figured, well, maybe it's time that I tried to use this big mill I got here. Uh, you know, it's like the mill that won the west here. This is a K&T Kearney and Trekker. Uh, number two, it's a uh, 5, uh, what number is it? It's a 2CH, 5 horsepower. 2CH and um, runs off three phase automatic all directions right now it's got the horizontal or the vertical head on it this there's a you take out the bolts and then you swing this thing around you store it over there and I got a shaft for this and the rod you know the overarms come out and you can use it as a horizontal I just got a six inch Kurt vice in here but a better vice for this would be an eight inch vice but I have this older six inch vice which will work the table is about 54 long by about 11 wide, and uh, it's got coolant, built-in coolant, goes into the base and all hydraulic, and uh, like I said, it's got the power in all directions, wrapper traverse all directions, so uh, it's got a clutch setup. So I'm going to fire it up right now, and we'll see what happens. I got the, that, if you can hear that motor running, I'll stop talking for a minute. That's the three-phase um, ghost motor, slave motor, or whatever, or whatever they call it. So I'm not going to fire this up now and see what happens. Alright. Alright, now, let's see. Put that in, and this is the, this lever here. That's the rapid reverse lever. Oh, away we go. And go the other way. Beautiful, right? You want to do different directions? Up. That's in and out. That way until the oil builds up and it, there she goes. There it is. Okay, we're right in the middle of the piece now. Let's see, right in the middle of the house, a lot. This is right here. That's why I was going to. That's why it's taking time. Alright, now this is the up and down. Now, whoever made these bills, they made it so it's impossible to get, engage this so you pull this out. Okay? And these are the feed rates here. That's the up and down. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm off doing something. Probably a little low on the wheel. Basically. Alright, anyway. We'll crank it up by hand. A little stiff. Yeah. And I got a, I don't know, an eight carbide head in there. Let's see what the speed is. Uh, that's probably a little slow. Got the speeds over here on the side. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. You just pull it out and you say, right now I'm running 225. I'm going to look at about 400. That's good. That's good. Soft, it's got a soft foot. Soft foot. It's moving right now. So 
Paulo, de mais aperto, para o Sancho René, pequeno. Pessoal, para o Sancho Pequeno Fé. Para o Sancho Fé. Hey, this is what they call a real mill. And Bridgeport's are nice, but they're toys compared to this. This is what's called a real mill. Now, this is going to be the very first cut I ever took of this machine.
I'm not going to hit you. That shape that I got. Not as much because it's getting cut. Let's see what happens. Right now it's not cutting any of it. Right in the middle of the cut. calipers here. 320, 320, 320 on a burr. 320. It's about 8,000 so we're at the big deal. We don't care about that. Okay. That's it. Glad I had a chance to show you this big monster. Machined at one to west, World War II, made tanks, B-25s, right here. No CNC back in them days. You can get a machine, if you got the room for it, in a garage. Beautiful machine, you can do a lot with this machine. I don't even need to have a CNC machine to cut the, you know, water jet the, you can just plunge down with a good four flute end cutting end mill, three quarter. One inch diameter, go right in, one cut, all around. Corner running, it will do it. Okay. See you again. Next video. Thanks for watching.